Welcome to this tutorial on installing Python through Anaconda. To begin, head over to anaconda.com and click on the download button. From the download page, scroll down and select your operating system. For this tutorial, I'll be installing Python through Anaconda using a Windows machine. Once you've selected your operating system, click on download for Python version 3.7. Once the files have finished downloading, go ahead and run the installer. Note that the installation sequences here have been shortened. Depending on your machine, this may take several minutes to complete. Once you hit the finish button, congratulations, Anaconda is now installed on your machine. Once Anaconda has finished installation, go ahead and open an Anaconda prompt. With the Anaconda prompt open, go ahead and create your virtual environment. In this example, I'm using PySteve as the name of my virtual environment and we're installing Python version 3.7 into this virtual environment. If prompted, hit the Y key for yes, and then the Enter key. Once the virtual environment has been created, you'll notice the following information printed to the Anaconda prompt. So to activate the virtual environment, we'll need to type conda activate the name of the environment, in this case PySteve, and to deactivate that virtual environment, we'll need to type conda deactivate. So each time we open an Anaconda prompt then, it's important that we begin by activating the virtual environment that we want to use. Now let's take a look at the packages that are installed in this virtual environment by typing conda list and hitting the enter key. Anaconda tells us that we have installed version 3.7.3 of Python, and we can confirm this by typing python space dash dash version and hitting the enter key. Let's now install the packages we'll be using this semester. To begin, we'll enter Python by typing Python and hitting the Enter key, and we'll attempt to import the NumPy package as an alias NP. Python gives us an error message saying NumPy is not installed, and of course we knew this when we looked at conda list. So let's exit Python and let's install NumPy. To install NumPy in the PySteve virtual environment, type conda install numpy. Be sure to hit the Y button for yes and hit enter when prompted.
Once NumPy has finished installing in this virtual environment, we can confirm the presence of NumPy by running conda list once again. We can also confirm a proper installation by opening up Python and importing NumPy as the alias NP. With no error messages thrown by Python, we've confirmed a correct installation of NumPy. Let's repeat this process now to install the remaining packages that we'll be using in class this semester, namely OpenCV, IMUtils, and Matplotlib. Each time we install a new package, we can confirm a proper installation by running conda list and attempting to import the package in Python. Note here that for installing OpenCV into the virtual environment, I recommend using a pip install instead of conda install. You can confirm the version of OpenCV that has been installed into your virtual environment by running a conda list or inside Python typing import cv2 to import OpenCV and then cv2 dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. In this example, I've installed version 4.1 of OpenCV. Let's run one final conda list to confirm all of the packages that we'll be using this semester have successfully installed into this virtual environment. We can also confirm a proper installation by opening Python and importing each package.